Hi everyone and welcome to my channel and I thought that I would make a standard uh, video for you guys for a non first player or somebody who has um, access to the um, game testing server I do but I just have not decided to, to participate um, but uh, it's all about uh, for me what I want to talk about is two things it's the overall changes in the um, the menu system that everyone has been talking about with regards to the tickets and the um, leveling up for uh, getting these uh, new uh, resources um, by using the tickets and what I'll do is I'll just go straight in right away here to kind of have a better elaboration for you so right now in the main menu we have this thing called seasons and if you click on it you have all of these things and if you use your bumpers or whatever on your keyboard uh, you can switch through to see that there are a number of items that you can purchase using these new tickets now going through uh, Bethesda's website today and reading over the uh, the new fixes and the um, description of how the, the game has changed with these tickets is that um, as you go up in rank as you can see here complete challenges to rank up and earn tickets redeem tickets to claim rewards so um, unlike the map the that we used to follow um, we are going to be using this instead um, and I was kind of worried that maybe this was going to replace the uh, atom shop but in no way that it has anything to do with the atom shop is totally separate this is just basically removing the game map and setting up a new type of uh, UI and strategy here that Bethesda has in mind um, and some people are very doubtful that this is going to be successful. Um, my only thing is that I'm very highly interested in is the overall gameplay. The new ad added material, the new content, um, and new storyline uh, that's going to give us extra lore to follow um, in terms of uh, with the new Atlantic City that has been updated and now we can freely go and visit as much as we want. We will get into that in future videos. Today we're just going to be just talking about a little bit about the, the, uh, the changes that are taking place right now. My only disappointing thing that um, I think on Bethesda's part is really pushing it is that as you progress through to rank up to be able to unlock and pay for these, um, you can't simply just say, well, I don't like all these items. I'm not going to use my tickets. I'm not going to save them. I'm going to save them for the next season or the next update. Uh, in the uh, in the calendar uh, that they have unfortunately it doesn't work like that um, you are kind of forced to use all your tickets whether you like to or not because they do not carry over the following seasons um, or episodes or whatever you, you want to call them but you are literally forced to use them so the only thing is, is that if you go to, if you make it to say, to the last one. Now, I don't know how they're gonna work this out. Like, is there gonna be a specific date where the seasons are finished and then it's automatically gonna change. Whereas with the map, if you finish the map, you get extra bonuses as you progressed in your rank score or your score rank that's up in the corner and um, you, would, you would get bonuses for that now there is a bonus system I don't know how it's gonna work yet 
but um, the thing is, is that if you can, if there's, say, if you ranked up and you were able to unlock everything and you waited till the very end to say, okay, well, I want to use all my tickets to buy, uh, say, what's the most expensive thing here I could see? Um, okay, we'll just say, uh, can move it. Oh, I can't move it. Okay, okay. So say for 200 atoms. No, actually, that's no good. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, it looks like the Jersey Devil Stein is going to be our, our subject. So if I want to save up, say, to get this Devil Jersey sign and pretend to say it's a thousand tickets or 500 tickets, how long do I have? Till the very end to use up my remaining tickets if I want to save them all up to get the Jersey Devil and okay I understand that once I get to the last the highest rank and I have accumulated enough tickets and I buy the Jersey Devil say for 500 uh, tickets I'm gonna, I might have some left over right but if I don't have enough to say, say if I got only three tickets left and the, the only thing I could buy is something that has five tickets, my chances of, uh, of losing those three tickets are gonna be very high. So I don't know yet. I have to test this out in gameplay. Um, I haven't, like I said, uh, installed the test server, which I can, but I just didn't feel like it was necessary for me to install a complete whole new game on top of what I already have. There are plenty of YouTubers out there that will explain a much more than me, but I just wanted to touch on the subject of the, the new interface that we're dealing with here. Um, overall, I am not too crazy about what's available, but like, yeah, some skins, not really worried about them. It's not like I will ever use them. Um, this is apparently a, a totally new weapon altogether. So this is something that you might want to get. Um, again, we have, oh, this is for Fallout first. So we don't have to worry about that. Uh, we have the Devilish Hell Cat paints. Um, things like this. I kind of like it. Uh, we have a new Reaper's Paint for the Auto Axe. So I'm kind of going backwards here a little bit, but I'm pretty sure that if you check on, on YouTube or if you haven't already, um, you've probably seen this many, many times being talked about. I'm just kind of going through it myself right now for the first time uh, just to see what it is that we're going to be getting. So we get the Cremator as the default new weapon. And, um, you know, we get the same thing, some skins, things specific for Fall of First members. Um, and that's pretty much it. So it's not gonna change much of the gameplay as a veteran. I would consider myself a, 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 a veteran. But I, I wouldn't consider it's gonna change the gameplay very much except for the extra story stuff which is what I'm excited about getting into so you let me know if what you think about it. like if you are a Fallout 76 play game player and you're testing this out for your first time as well let me know give me some of your feedback on what you think that is the good side of it or the, the, the non good side of it the positive or the negative of it um, like I said, for me, it's not so much about the store, uh, the, the, the objects themselves. It would be nice to get some cool things because it's been a while since, you know, myself personally, even with um, the recent um, <laughs> Fajna. Fajna was very disappointed. Just disappointing, I'm sorry, but um, like I might have got one or new things if at all 
from the, the event and it's been kind of long waiting for something that's going to come up that's not only new but also going to be rewarding at the same time so let me know what you think give me some feedback um, and uh, I will talk to you again soon I am on live later so don't forget to check that out some live gameplay while I'm doing this so uh, see you Ciao Bell